Hi, I'm JR Mac, and uh, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, my new latest single that just came out worldwide March 24th of this year called You Make Me Feel So Good. Um, I originally wrote the song back in 1994, and uh, it was thought at that time I was working on a concept album called The Lover Man, and this was going to be the lead off single from the record. But um, I started touring and working with a lot of different groups, and uh, like the Ebony's and you know, different people like that, that were part of the Philly sound. And uh, so I never, I kind of put that project on the back burner until 2002 when uh, Forbes and I, my, my partner Forbes and I, we pulled out, we pulled it out again and uh, we decided that we were going to actually uh, finally finish it up. Uh, then he decided to move to Florida <laughs> and take the whole studio operation down here to Florida and uh, I was still touring and still working with a lot of different groups at the time um, so I mean and a lot of different I mean Delphonic stylistics you name it um, anyway as uh, as fortune would have it um, finally got a chance to uh, put together a compilation record that's actually coming out this year, a compilation album called The Best of J.R. Mack, which chronicles the last 25 years of my career. Forbes and I thought that it would be a great idea to release a single that had never been released before, um, that was brand new, so to speak, that kind of told you what I was doing now in 2018. And uh, we thought it would be a nice bookend to all the material that's been recorded since 1996, actually. Anyway, um, we decided to pull out You Make Me Feel So Good, and we took it to completion and uh, decided to release it as the lead-off single for this record. And uh, I must say, it's, it's been uh, doing very well on the charts. Uh, uh, the UK has totally embraced it, Europe has totally embraced it, different countries is being played in, like France, and Paris, uh, uh, Germany, Lady Marmalade is playing it in Germany, and just so many different, um, you know, Charlie Ray is playing it, uh, Les Knott is playing it, uh, a lot of D David Bishop, a lot of, a lot of great DJs are playing the record, Michael Emil, all of them. And uh, Michael K. Um, all of a sudden, this I get an email from uh, this DJ out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and he was telling me about how the the, the people over there, the, the Brazilians, like to dance, do line dancing and call it charme. And he wanted to do a special remix of the tune because he really liked the tune for them over there in Brazil. So he played it for me. And I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought it was awesome. So I told him, I said, you know, he, he asked, you know, could he, could, he, could he play it at his parties and let other DJs ask to go for it? You know, ran it by Steve Ripley, who's in charge of uh, marketing and promotion for us. And he was all about it, too. He loved it. So um, uh, DJ Sobra uh, is uh, the DJ's name. And uh, he, he did a fantastic job with the, with the record. I'm very, very proud of it. And we're hoping and praying that uh, it goes top 10, if not number one in Europe um, and in other countries. So I'm very thankful for um, what uh, DJ Sobra did um, with the remix, his remix of my tune, you make me feel so good.